you approach the open rift. Dried bushes are sticking out of its walls like the rotten teeth of a dead man. You carefully look down. Suddenly, the forest around you is lit by a strange red light. As you look up, you see a fiery ball zigzagging through the sky. Your words are lost among the tree branches. The fiery ball flies away, and everything is silent again. Night travels are not the most convenient ones. In the darkness, you can stumble upon any kind of evil spirits. This is precisely what happens now. You step into a silent meadow where a demon is drinking tea from a samovar. He notices you and invites you to join him. You drink the tea in silence, with the demon's glowing eyes fixed upon you. You feel uneasy and try to finish the drink as soon as possible. Suddenly, you feel a metallic taste in your mouth. Looking inside the cup, you discover that you've been drinking blood. The laughing demon disappears along with its samovar. Dark pine branches move to the sides, and you see a meadow strewn with old, overgrown pits. You come closer and look into one of them. The green of the meadow drops into the open maw of the pit, from which you sense the cold of the grave. God knows who dug them up and why. You start to inspect the pits one by one. You take one careless step and tumble down. Luckily, the pit is not that deep, and you climb out with ease. You frequently look around. You feel as if someone is watching you. You almost decide to give up finding anything in these mysterious pits when you notice an old grave at the bottom of one of them. A grim pit is filled with a damp stench. You see an old cross covered with a rotten towel. Near the grave, there is a small pot with an offering to the dead. The old cross is covered with moss, and mushrooms grow at its foot. You feel uncomfortable near the grave of the unclean dead. The old cross is covered with moss, and mushrooms grow at its foot. You feel uncomfortable near the grave of the unclean dead. In the pot by the gravestone, you find a couple of gold coins, which you quickly pocket but it seems to have disturbed the dead man. Suddenly, a white spirit rises from the grave. You hear a familiar voice. Young folk are having an evening gathering, 
although it's not the best season for it. Hi, Vasya! I know you have no time, but sing at least one song with us, for all time's sake! All right, but just one. You sit by a house and dissolve in a deep song. <laughs> 